And anytime you start to try to, you, you try to fit yourself to, to come up to somebody's uh, standards. Now, standards are good. Standards are good. They're, they're not all bad. Because I, I think that we should have certain level of, of standards in our life. And there should be standards of which we should strive for. So standards is definitely not all bad. But it's when you try to be like somebody else or you try to do something for somebody else to accept you, it can become a problem. Because if you're trying to live for somebody other than trying to live for yourself and live for how God wants you to live, you're going to find that those trying to keep up with that, you will fail every time. Because that's not of you. Ebony, God bless you. Um, you, you'll find out that's not a few. Brenda, God bless you. Um, so, so don't ever put yourself in a position where you're trying to keep up with man's standard. You need to try to keep up with God's standard. And one of the biggest standard of God's word, when, when he's bringing us into a new season of our life, the, the first thing God has to do is to deal with our hearts. And the, 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 the question is right now, is God dealing with your heart? Are you, are you experiencing, um, are you experiencing heart surgery right now? Are you experiencing this thing? Because this is very significant to what's happening in your life right now. How you are, how you are dealing with this uh, a, a place in your life, how you're handling it in your heart, that's the thing that can keep you back or hold you back from where you need to excel or excel to. So as we begin to have this level of confidence in the word of God, the changes that we need in our life will begin to take place. And the doors that needs to open will open for us at the appointed time. It's all about having confidence in the word of God and in the grace of God for our life. You know, the word of the Lord says, weeping may endure for a night, but the joy of the Lord is going to come into the morning. And you got to believe in the season that, that God is going to do something for, for your life. God is going to do something for you that you need. Hallelujah, to have faith according to his word. God is going to do something that's going to bring you to a whole new level of your life. You got to begin to say, Lord, take me there. You got to begin to say that. You got to begin to say, Lord, take me there. Take me to that new level. Take me to that next place of revival. Come on, fourth, you share this live video uh, one more time. Amen. Take me there, God, to that, to that next level. And let me see the glory of God. Let me see the, 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 the glory of your doings. Let me see the move of your spirit. Let me see the power of your might. Let me see the grace of your word. Free me, God, from every attack. Come on. You begin to say that, Lord, free me, God, from every attack. Give me the strength to overcome every attack. That's it. Give me the strength, God, to overcome every attack that been coming against my life. That been, that, that been putting me in this place of sorrow. Free me, God, from, give me freedom and give me strength in the name of Jesus. There, there, this, this, is, this is the moment where you are saying, Lord, I, I got to trust you. I got to have faith in you. I got to have confidence in you. I got to believe in you. Believe in the Lord right now. Believe in the Lord right now. Allow the revival of his word to move through your soul and through your heart. My God, in Jesus Christ's name, yes, Jaquita, you, you, uh, you, you receive that in Jesus Christ's name. You, you, you get to that spot in your life where you say, Lord, I'm not taking this as a joke. I'm taking this very seriously. 
I'm taking my, this, this next level of your word over my life seriously. I'm not going to cry about it anymore because sometimes we cry too much. Sometimes we cry too much. We're not letting go. Lord, I, I, I'm letting go. I, I'm letting go, Lord. God wants to do it. God wants to do it. And, and you tell yourself every day, God wants to live in me. God wants to do it in me. God wants to reveal his purpose in my life. God wants to prosper me. God wants to bless me. God wants to, uh, uh, to favor me. I am the head and not the tail. I'm above and not beneath. You confess that confession every day. Trust the move of God in your life like never before. Trust the season that he has for you. Trust the place of assignment that he has prepared for you. My God, trust the word of God for your life and allow him to begin to lead the way for you. Allow him to begin to open those doors that you need him to open in your life. Allow his spirit to rest on you. Allow him to move fear out of your heart. Allow him to put his, put his, his, his hands of confidence in your spirit. Where you feel confident in God's word. Where you feel confident in God's ability. Where you feel confident in God's plan for your life. God will work a miracle for you. If you would only believe, God will open up the door that you need him to open for you. If you will only trust him. You got to say, Lord, I'm putting my marriage in your hands. I'm putting my marriage in your hands. That's you decreeing over the season of your marriage. I said, that's you decreeing over the season of your marriage. Because what you're doing, you're rebuking the gates of hell. And you're rebuking the attacks of the enemy. And you're saying, Satan, you will not have power. You will not have control over me and my family. You will not have control over my children. My God, in Jesus Christ's name, you will not have control. And I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. My God, in Jesus' name. May we, may we get to that next level. May we get to that next level. May we get to that next level. May we begin to see the glory of God. May we, may we begin to deny uh, uh, the weakness and the struggles of this flesh. My God, may we become stirred again in the spirit. We begin to just crave for the move of God's revival, the move of God's hand, the touch of my God, of, 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 of his angel wings, the, the touch of his promise, I'm telling you, my fellow believers, I really know God tonight to be true. I know God tonight to be true. I know God tonight to be able. I know God tonight, my God, that he has the power to turn things around that you did not think that he could turn around for you. You know, one thing with God, when he tells us to do something, he don't want us to think about it. He wants us to do it just like the man that was on that mat. When your season of change is coming, you just got to do what you got to do. You can't, you can't feel this thing. You can't feel this thing. You got to get beyond the point where, where, you, where you're trying to look for the feeling, you know, the feeling of this thing to happen. You got to get beyond that point. You can't keep feeling this thing. It's not about feeling it. It's about getting in what the flow of things that God is telling you to get into. It's about you getting into the flow of the things of which God is telling you to get into. So you say, God, I can't get into that house. Yes, you can. Father, I thank you. Watch your, watch your confession. I, I thank you that you're going to, you're, you're going to, uh, give me favor to get into that house. I, I want you to do something. I want you to begin to thank God for the, 
the, the, the, the finances and the provisions of things that God is going to bring into your life supernaturally. I, I, I'm serious. You see, if you don't get to that spot in your life where you start to declare war over your future and over your destiny, then the enemy will continue to play around with you. We'll say that, you know, enemy have you like a puppet on a string. And he will tell you what to say and you will say those things. And he will tell you what to do and you will do those things. Because the enemy is playing with your emotions, playing with your mind, is playing with your heart, he's playing with your, with your tomorrow. You understand? He's playing with your future. He's playing with your destiny. But you got to begin to rebuke the devil. You got to begin to bind up Satan. Yes, you got to begin to bind him up. And you got to begin to say, no demonic weapon that form against me. It will not prosper me. It will not hurt me. I decree the word of God right now. For your word say, who the son has set free is free indeed. You begin to decree over yourself, I am free. I'm no longer bound. Come on, talk to me, somebody. Talk to me. Father, if you share this live video one more time, amen. Talk to me. Who the Son has set free is free indeed. You got to understand your freedom is not in things. Your freedom is not in money, house, or even in your children, or, or a husband, a spouse, or somebody, or your boyfriend, whoever you with. Your freedom is not in those things. Your freedom is in God. Because we can only have peace when we're in God and we're in God's will. That now begin to uh, elevate us into a place of peace. You'll, you'll say, Prophet, why, why do you think so many people in this world who is rich and have a lot of money and have a whole lot of stuff going for them still kill themselves at the end of the day? How many of them commit suicide? I know a lot of rich people. I know people that was well established that end up taking their life because of the spirit of depression. You see, the enemy is coming to claim your life. The, all the enemy got to do is just speak to you and tell you to kill yourself. How many of you have that thought? That, that very thought. The devil came to you and tell you to, to, to take your own life. The devil come to you and tell you to take your life, take the life of your children, and take your life. I mean, how much time on the news we see people do that? Take the life of your family and then, and, and then take their life. That's a demonic spirit. That's a, come on, that's, that's what I'm saying, that this is a, you're, you're on a battlefield for life. As long as you live, you got to be a soldier. That's what the Bible says. As long as you live, we got to be a soldier for Christ. No, I, I, I'm absolutely serious about this. Because we are so used to, um, we are so used to having our feelings pampered and somebody having a pity party with our, with, our, with our feelings, we're so used to that. But we don't understand that in the, in the spiritual world, <laughs> when you become of age, when you, when you get to that spot in your life where you're now older, wisdom in God's word for your life, the wisdom in God's plan for your life, you got to begin to understand that there is something far more vast that that has taken place over your life than that which that which you see with your natural eye oh my god thank you jesus that's it you thank god for everything that you need right now in your life you thank him for everything that he is doing right now for you in the name of jesus christ my god you want that revival to hit you you want that revival to move on you you want that revival, my God, to overshadow you. You want to get to that next place. You want to see the glory of God. You got to begin to say, Lord, here I am. You got to begin to say, Lord, I'm, I'm willing to be a soldier. I'm willing to be a fighter. I'm willing to fight in the faith. I'm willing to pray. I'm willing to, uh, to seek after you. I'm willing to chase after you, God. I'm willing to be where you want me to be. They'll watch you from a distance, but they also know that you have the anointing to expose open areas in their life. You know what I'm trying to say? They also know that you have the power to expose the, 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 the open areas in their life. So what they'll do, they'll, they'll stand offish. Now, they, you know, they still see you and hi, hello, and whatever, but they'll stand offish. But because when the power of God is on your life, it's going to influence their life in such a way 
that there is a there is a wave of God's grace and God's power and God's ability and in God's in God's hands uh, um, of assignment that is going to literally uh, make them uncomfortable and um, and push them to the next level. But they know they know people are not stupid now. Persons that call themselves Christians, they're not dumb either. Uh, but some of them practice um, other things in their life. And if you're, if you're truly walking in that power, the demonic spirits that is influencing a certain level of your life will not allow those people to connect with you. They will not allow them because your influence will be too strong for them. That's what the anointing does. My God, I don't even say anything, but they speak anyhow. Because of the anointing over your life, be powerful, man. They run. Amen. You know, that, that's it. This has happened to me still, you know, to this day. My God, lately our God has isolated me from everyone, my God, and I am at peace. All right. All right. Glory to God. So, so you got to understand the workings of God's power and the workings of of his spirit that is in your life so more anointed you get more fearful the devil is of more 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 fearful the devil is of that anointing because he cannot stand in the presence of that anointing that's why i say that when you speak something you have the power and the authority to to change your season you have the power and the authority to what to change your season. That's what God want to do. He want to change your season. He want to give you the open doors. My God, uh, open door for miracles that you need for your life. And then now you begin to confess this. You begin to say, Lord, no weapon that form against me will not prosper. I am... I, I, I decree I have the word of God over me that, 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 that is mighty to the pulling down of every stronghold. And you begin to confess that thing. You begin to declare that thing. You see? And now your seasons start changing. Because now you, are, you have an understanding of the anointing that's on your life. And then now you're, you're not speaking what the devil has influenced you to say. But you're speaking the word of God. So now the season got to comply the season of things which you're speaking has to now comply to you. And then now you can begin to look out for the miracles to begin to happen and the supernatural. So this is the term of the prophetic movement that God is trying to uh, reveal into our life by taking us to a greater uh, a place where we can understand the word of God and the level of God's word for our life. Yeah, as God's word would say, we have to what? We have to trust we have to obey and we have to allow the nature of his promise God I felt that anointing right there we have to allow the nature of his promise you did, did you know that did you know that um, God's word has a nature about it no no, no like, like seriously I'm not even kidding you do you know that God's word has a nature about it Listen, the level of this nature of God's word, it means with the nature of it, you, you feel this thing. It, it, it's real. It's alive. It's alive. I don't know if somebody's getting this. I need nine of you to share this live video again. I really do. Oh, power God. Listen, the word of God is live, the Bible says, and it, and it, and it quickens. Okay? It quickens. Let me see who's, who's connected here. All right. It quickens. Right? Uh, it quickens hallelujah glory to God Galloway God bless you hey 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 um, but, 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 it, but, it, but it quickens it, 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 it sharpens when, when I say the word of God has a nature about it it puts you in this this zone this feeling like this, this assurance this, 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 this hopeful place that's the nature. That's the nature of his word because it, it, it changes something about the atmosphere of your life or the atmosphere of your thinking. It, it feels like a person. It feels like a person. It feels like a, 
a person. The nature of God's word and of God's problem, it feels like a person, uh, like a person. It just don't feel like a thing. It feels like something that's supposed to be a part. You, you get what I'm trying to say? I'm trying to explain this to you. My God, it's an experience like, Emma, God bless you. It's an experience like something that um, is to be a part. And, and, and when you, 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 you have this experience of this thing being a part, then it establishes you, my God, in the nature of God. Now, once you're in this nature of God, whatever the word of God is supposed to bring forth, all right, because you're in the God nature now, you're walking in that God nature, you are now going to be bringing forth those things. All right, you're going to be beginning to bring forth those things. My God, Carlene, God bless you. Yes, yes, yes. It's a great uh, a feeling. That is correct. That's how you know, you know, I, I don't know. I like to walk through the, the wooded area. I hate to walk through it in Florida because of all the snakes and, and God he knows and spiders and all those stuff, you know, and it make my skin crawl, you know. But, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm like the city guy. Like, <laughs> for real, though, I'm, you know, I like, I like, I'm so used to the city kind of thing now. So, um, I don't have much, but anyway, but I still like to walk through the wooded area and, and like to smell the trees and the plants and hear the birds and different, different stuff. And just, just to take in the, the, the nature, the nature of life, just, just take in that, that beautiful nature of life. Just, just to enjoy the, the trees and the shrubberies and everything. That's what the Word of God does. It's, it, it feels like when you start walking in that Word, when you start to meditate on that Word, when you start to allow that Word, it becomes a nature of life. It becomes life over you. Amen? And, and your experience, your experience become much more than your trouble. You hear what I'm telling you? Your experience becomes much more than your trouble. Your experience become much more than your heartache. Your experience become much more than your pain. Your experience become much more than those that desert you. That's, 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 that's what it become uh, 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 much more of. So you got to begin to just walk in this nature of hope. Walk into this place of glory. Walk into that promise where you just say, Lord, I love you. I'm in my God nature. When somebody try to take you out of that nature and say, oh, oh, get back into your ghetto nature. No, no, I'm in my God nature. You see what I'm saying? I'm in my God nature and I'm staying in this God nature because where I'm at, I find peace. I find contentment. I find strength. I have joy. I, I have hope. My God, I'm not looking back. I am running for my life. My God, hallelujah, just a good, just a good place. Amen. So, so that nature, that God nature, is that fulfilling nature that established Hallelujah. Things that God has in store for us. You know, you got to say, Lord, you have it in store. I want it. I want it. Five more of you. I'm almost, my, my time's almost up. Five more, five more of you. You can share again. Glory to God, share. I want you to know this because you can't fear evil and fear what the enemy will do. Because when you're in your God nature, your God nature says, it's my season, it's my time, and no matter what's lurking, I'm protected. You hear what I'm saying, somebody? Are you, are you getting that? Are you getting that, Ken? Are you getting that, Andrea? Glory to God. I'm protected by the hands of the Almighty. I'm protected by His hand. And no more chain, no more chain, no more, no more demonic depression is going to keep me from receiving 
the promises of God. Let me tell you something right now. China, God bless you. When we when we begin to um, when we begin to emphasize the word of God in the face of oh God, I felt that for somebody. I, I, all right, I don't want to start to prophesy because I almost felt that for you, Janet. Glory to God. I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. My God. Hallelujah. All right, all right. When 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 thank you, Lord, for the anointing. When, when we begin to begin to have this hope of glory, the devil has to be steered away. The enemy cannot come at us full force and try to run us over by, 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 by the circumstances of struggles. There's no way. It's impossible. You're walking in too much power. The devil don't come around you. The enemy, the enemy, all he could do is tempt you with stuff to try to break your faith. But when you're in that power, he knows when you're in that power. Because all of his attack flees. Every one of his attack flee. None of them prosper. Because you're in that fate level power. Amen. Protected, amen, by the hands of the Almighty. That's it. You're in that fate level power faith level power it means that you're not walking in the spirit of fear but you're walking in a sound mind my god you're walking in power you're walking in love you're walking in the strength of god you don't have to hate anybody because you're in power you, you really don't you don't have to hate anybody because you're in power when you're in power you don't have to hate anybody. You're empowered by the Holy Ghost. Are you you follow, follow me? You're empowered by the Holy Ghost. So I don't have to hate you. I just pray for you. And I pray that God will deliver you. And I pray that God will help you. You, you see what I'm trying to say? Because you are in power. You are empowered. You're empowered. I'll put an ED in that. But you're empowered, okay? You're empowered to not allow the enemy to consume your life with these weight of circumstance. Surely God bless you. With these weight of circumstance. I feel that for somebody right now. God says, even with the weight of your marriage, let there be a shift over your life. Oh, Rabbi, Kiri my God, the power of God will begin to move for somebody tonight. I don't know who you are. Somebody, if you need this for your husband, I need you to receive it. I need, I type it in, type it in. If you need this for your husband, I want you to type it in and say, I need this for my husband. My God in Jesus Christ's name. Type it in and just say, I need this for my husband. Because God is empowering you. He has empowered you. My God, through his word through his word, to experience the grace of heaven, to experience the, op the open doors of glory for your life. I break the spirit of fear off of you right now. I said I break the spirit of fear off of you right now. My God, Felicia, Felicia J, I want you to prophesy something to you. I want you to know that God is going to do something new for you. I don't know if you have a son or you desire to have a, have a son or you had desire to, to have a son. But I saw the word desire because there are things in your life, Felicia, that, that, that you had desired, my God. And even when you were at the age 17, you had desired some things uh, uh, for your life. Oh God, I feel, I feel, I feel a prophetic right now. I feel a prophetic, I feel a prophetic, I, I'm going to shift this. I feel a prophetic move right now. My God, I feel, a, I feel, I feel a prophetic move right now. At the, at the, at the age of, of, of 17, Felicia, at the age of 17, at the age of 17, hallelujah, hallelujah. 
Okay, you have a two-year-old son. Mm. Jesus, glory. Glory, 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 glory. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. There's a there's a there's a there's a wind, there's a there's a move of God. There's a Shekinah glory. There's a there's a Shekinah glory in the presence of God. At 17, I had my daughter. Yes, yes, there it is, there it is. There it is. You, you had desired some things. Because uh, I saw 16 and I saw 17, but you had desired. And, and there's things that you wanted to do for your life. But you had to go through one of the, when you were 20, a matter of fact, you went through one of the darkest moments of your life. You really thought that you wouldn't be able to make it. You really thought that you would even have the strength. The, 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 the glory of God's manifestation, Alicia James, is, is going to come over you. And the Lord showed me in the spirit that there is an anointing that's going to come over your stomach here because sometimes your stomach here may feel a little funny. The anointing of God is going to come over your stomach here because God is, is releasing a, a miracle and a healing upon you. And in every uh, a, 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 a demonic hindrance and entrapments Oh God, all these ages, I saw the number, like I said, I, I, and I even saw the number 21 as well. God's going to restore back some things in your life, uh, 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 Felicia. I want to speak over your life because when I saw Felicia Jane, I saw in the spirit, like, like, a, like a, um, I saw like in the spirit, like a demonic spirit. I saw like a demonic spirit. And, and, and it looks like um, it has like a, a, a man figure. It has a man figure. This 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 spirit. Ooh. Let me tell you why the demonic spirit is like a man figure, is because you just things it didn't have with your father and, so, and stuff like that. But the enemy uses things and, and he uses the, the, this, this man type spirit to, to, to oh, Rabban the kid, and it causes things to happen. Things to happen to you. But God says, this season, you're going to know the power of God, you're going to know the strength of God. You're going to know the strength of God for your life in the name of Jesus. I want the glory of God to move. I want the glory of God to move tonight. I want the glory of God to move tonight. My father was murdered. And when I was three, my daughter's father was murdered. And when she was two, oh my God, look at that. Look at that. That's why God tell, tell, tell me to tell you that he's healing you from this. He's healing you from your experience. He is healing you from your experience. That's why it, it, it comes up before you. That's why it comes up before you. It comes up before you. And I saw this man image uh, figure. It comes up before you because of these experiences that you, you had. That you had to deal with. But tonight God is healing you. Tonight God is healing you. The, the Lord will not allow you, Felicia, 
to suffer. To suffer like this. And, and it, what, what I also saw, Felicia, is like, it just won't make you move on. Like, almost like, Lord, I, it, 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 it's, it's, it's one of those spirits I want to keep you stand still. But, but I see this thing that, that Felicia J, the, the thing that's been holding you, it's like, it's like a person that's holding, but you're trying to move, you're trying to move your shoulder, but I see you in the spirit that you're going to move so much that it's going to just break off of you completely and you're going to enter into your new season and your new time in life. I see you living in like a, um, like a suburb area nice house upstairs downstairs suburb area I don't know if you live there yet I don't know if you used to live there I saw the streets and I saw the streets nice and clean and the, 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 the grass in the front of the house and, and, and things like that the spirit of the Lord will begin to do it again in your life Yes, the spirit of the Lord is, is going gonna, is gonna, is gonna to do, my God, for you as you break away, you break off these things from your life. I mean the dreams and the visions of things, my God, that you had. It's going to be stirred up again in your life. And a matter of fact, God is stirring it up in your life right now tonight under the sound of my voice, Felicia. If I don't preach to nobody else tonight, I'm preaching to you. You hear what I'm saying? God is stirring, stirring up the faith in your life to believe his word, his promise, and his blessings. You're going to move into what God has for you. Come on, I want to prophesy to you, Felicia. I'm throwing the word of God on you. I'm throwing it on you like a garment that you will wear this word, that you will come into your revival, that you will come into the experience of God's uh, time and blessing. To, uh, uh, my God, blessings for you. Come on, I'm prophesying this. I want you to grab all of this. I want you to wear it as a garment. The, 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 the Bible says that Joseph's father made it, made, um, uh, Jacob made Joseph a uh, robe. That, that signifies his love for him and that if he, he put time to, to, to make the robe for his son to wear it it means it was significant every time he wore it he is wearing the spirit of his father every time he wore it he's wearing, he wearing the love of his father I see like the Lord putting a spiritual robe on you tonight and you're going to begin to walk God said every time you wear it that's you wear me wear the Lord on you wear his garment on you wear him on you because this is where the power of healing and breakthrough this is where the breakthrough anointing is coming my God upon your life Felicia in the name of Jesus Christ, oh God, I feel this anointing. Oh, I feel this anointing, my God. I dare to hear the Lord says the curse is broken. I hear, I dare to say that the, the, the word of the Lord says the curse is broken. My God, hallelujah. Galloway, I, 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 you know, I know I never really prophesied or say anything to you, but I also heard in the spirit tonight, glory to God, the curse is broken. I don't know who you know in the Atlanta area, but I know you're getting ready to travel into the Atlanta area. Glory to God to do something. There's something else the Lord has shown me in the spirit. Glory to God. The anointing of heavy. I'm telling you, I feel this heavy anointing. My God. My God. I am, I am sorry right now. Amen. Yes, yes, Felicia. You receive the anointing of God's word over your life. My God, because everything that the enemy has said against your life is broken. This is the this is the time of revival. This is the time of revival. This is the time where you 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 rebuke Satan. My God, and you you speak the word of God. You say everything that was trying to hold me down will hold me down no more. Everything that was trying to keep me captive will keep me captive no more. I'll begin to see in the spirit. I'll begin to walk in the spirit. I'll begin to talk in the spirit. I'll begin to live in the spirit. My God. Hallelujah. You see, God speak blessings, not curses. The curse only comes upon us when we are out of the will of God. 
So you got to understand that the curse, the devil is already cursed. And anybody that, that does the things of the devil, that becomes their punishment, the curse of the devil. So if you do something that the devil is cursed, God cursed the devil uh, 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 for, and you touch those things, you're touching the cursed things. So therefore, you take on the curse of the devil. You get what I'm trying to say? That's how it works. All right? So, so God don't need to curse you because he already spoke curse to, to the demonic spirits and everything. And anything that they offer you, if you touch those things, the curse comes on you. If you touch those things because the devil's already cursed with it. So God don't need to curse you. So what God does, he speaks blessings over our life. See, see, he speaks blessings over our life. So he says now, since it's so easy for you to touch the cursed thing, I'm going to give you power, watch this, to touch the blessed things. And how you touch the blessed things is by doing exactly what I tell you to do. And then I position you now in the blessed realm of his anointing. Yes. Glory to God. New covenant. I'm telling you, you know, you know, you, you understand that the, the, the experiencing uh, levels of demonic activities that when we, again, I'm, I'm going to state this, when we touch something that's not of God, we are automatically touching the curse. You know what I'm trying to say? You, you must understand what I'm trying to say. When we touch something that's not of God, we are touching a thing that God already cursed. You know what I'm trying to say? Now, like I said before, God now begins to equip us with power. And then we don't touch those cursed things. And then guess what happened? The curse is broken because no longer we are touching those things. Oh my God. You hear what I'm trying to tell you? The curse is broken because no longer we're touching those things. Got to get the revelation. Got to get the revelation. I decree, I declare, glory to God, the struggle is over in Jesus' name. Amen. We are no longer touching the curse of things. So when we're no longer touching the curse of things, guess what happened? The curse is broken. So he said, prophet, is there a generational curse? Yes, there is. There's a generational curse that uh, uh, we can... Uh, a take on uh, a, a, a generational curse begin to touch things that our generations used to touch. You know what I'm trying to say? That God curse. And then now the, those things that we are touching that they used to touch affect our life. Now, now we have to deal with a curse that, that the curse of thing that's already cursed. So now you said, prophet, how does it break? By just not doing it. By doing what the word of the Lord said to do. And then those things, those, those things which are cursed, no longer have power over your life. It's broken, it's gone. So, there may be one thing or two things or three things in your life of which you say, well, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, no longer. Yeah, that, 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 that took the word right out of my mouth. In the name of Jesus, no longer. I'm done with it. I'm finished with it. In the 